BikeCAD version 9 allows for the inclusion of a seat post clamp, seat post binder boss, or wedge. To control this feature, click on the seat post clamp icon in the top toolbar. The bolt on the seat post clamp can be at the back as shown, or you could assign a positive value to X to flip the bolt to the front. To allow the body of the clamp to conform, we might take the overall length of the clamp, which we can see in the B field is 43 millimeters, and subtract from that the current value of A, which is 18 millimeters, to get a new value for A. At the same time, we can swap the values for R1 and R2. Be aware that dimension C represents the thickness of flange on the seat post clamp that rests above the seat tube. We can see this flange if we switch to the hidden line display mode and change the value for C to something larger like 3 millimeters. If we display the seat tube centered to top measurement, we can see that this measurement is still taken from the BB to the top of the seat tube, not to the top of the seat post clamp. Be sure to account for this if you wish your finished frame to have a specific measurement from the bottom bracket to the top of the seat post clamp. Besides seat post clamps, the dialog box also provides two styles of seat post binder bosses, available by clicking on the icons next to the seat post clamp. If we switch to an arrow seat tube, we can also represent a seat post wedge, which are commonly seen on time trial bikes.